हरि ओम नमस्कार टू ऑल ऑफ यू समी वॉज आस्किंग मी वही नो प्रयोग टेम्पल श्री क्षेत्र यू वॉन्ट टू नो दर्पस लाइफ इज बिकम सो यूटिलिटेरियन एंड पर्पस ओरिएटेड something you have it should have an utility value otherwise we will throw it even if i have to give you a sudarshana or i give you a janardana murti you will immediately ask what is the use of this some of year attuned to that we cannot see in religion it is absolutely uh, faith and nothing else faith alone matters nothing else when you look with faith you go to tirumala you come to sri chetra narasimha wadi with faith when you look at it bhagwan communicates with you of course since you are all asking many are asking about what for or why i want to briefly tell you something i don't know whether you can understand all this but i'm just telling you something. this particular place what we have got in a hobilam is the place where many prayogis in the past have lived in that land or visited that land or they have used that land right from prayogis like sudam shu kripa vagula baranan we had the great prayogi kakade ramnachar mahabhopala layer रणधीर महाधीर राजर ऑल दीज प्रयोगी हैव यूटिलाइज दिस लैंड यूज दिस लैंड लकली वी कुड लैंड एग्जैक्टली इन द वेरी सेम प्लेस नाउ टुडे वी आर trying to develop that land we are trying to build some structures we are giving some definition to the prayoga to the concept of prayoga so the pradishta is as per prayoga shastra not or your agama shastra or anything else the pradishta itself is as per prayoga shastra दक्षाचार प्रयोग शास्त्र वी आर दक्षाचारीस नॉट वामाचारीस इनिशियली वी कंस्ट्रक्टेड महापितृनारायण एंड देन वी हैड वन मोर मूर्तम दट वॉज भोग जनार्दन स्वामी वी हैव प्लेस्ड अ लॉर्ड ऑफ सालग्राम बिलो जनार्दन thousands of salagramas are there which you had done with your own hands all that happened and we have completed that part so that portion is called as janardana kshetra we started doing our prayoga yagyams from 2019 in that spot where we are doing the prayoga yagyam is going to come up a temple of prayoga this temple of prayoga is one of its kind one of its kind means not like i'm not saying it's the biggest temple it will have very beautiful architecture and all these things and it will be very huge all that no it's one of its kind but 
you don't have a second temple like that because it is first according to the Chajara Prayoga. In your life, you come across various akshanas which may be there with other humans in the environment, with animals. We ourselves, we have some akshanas, some base akshanas are there. There are some akshanas which keep visiting and going. According to these akshanas, our temperament, our behavior, changes according to the interaction of our akshara with other akshara, so many things are there. The cosmos has got billions and billions, trillions and trillions of akshuras. All these are energy centers. Through this Prayoga Narasimha temple, we will be bringing down at least 78% of the Aksharas which are available across the cosmos, not in one dimension, in many dimensions. There are various worlds. The world what we see today or the cosmos what we see is only one dimension. There are many dimensions. Here itself you have in this very same room there may be many dimensions of world it is possible or it may be sometimes you may step into the other dimension and you will see entirely a different kind of world composition. So the Aksharas in all these worlds including the world in which we exist, the cosmos in which we exist, at least 78% of all those Aksharas will be there in this Prayogana Samatha. The idea is to house them so that they are able to bless one and all who come there. You may not be able to visualize them, but they, they can look at you. It brings about some qualitative changes in your life. You become a unique person the negativities will vanish, the positivities will exist. In Prayoga Purana of Narsama Purana, Narsama comes with various astras. So all those astras he will be holding in his sixteen hands. Other than the two hands will be Abhayam and Varada. He will be in sitting posture. Whatever the astras that are said in Astra Prayoga Mantra, he will be carrying all those astras. And all those astras will be representing the Aksharas, the 78% of the Aksharas, which are available in the multidimensional cosmos around us. That is why I call this temple a unique temple, very unique. So if you have faith, the transformation happens. If you are from a field of questioning, if you want to understand things, I don't think that is possible in Prayoga Shastra. There is nothing here to understand. Here, simple faith and acceptance. The cosmos opens for you. So Narsama as Prayoga Narsama and Mahalakshmi as Yoga Lakshmi will be there. They will be, no doubt, I am having an ambitious plan to bring a Narsama of 16 feet that's my idea, I do not know. It's Lord's will, whether it transforms into reality or not. Here we have to, because it's huge, we have to first place the idol and then build the temple. So, the Pradishta part of the idol 
the below whatever yantras we keep materials we keep various things we may keep some salagramas also all these things will take place first initially and along with prayoga narsimha there will be navanarasimha there will be one adivaraha kundam also and there will be chhatrabala sannadhi also will be there one adivaraha sannadhi also will be there exactly the representation of our yaga shala you will have the temple you can participate in every way possible this is a very unique opportunity you may not be there i may not be there but our participation will always be there because this temple will exist for thousands of years and you are participating in such an event is something very beautiful and you must be gifted your forefathers will be visiting the kshetra many of them may prefer to stay there itself every time you are born on this earth you are sent with some aksharas due to your interaction with various type of mediums sometimes even the mischiefs played by some of the negative vamacharis not all vamacharis are negative but there are some who hate the dark force due to their influence the akshara might have changed the composition in you might have changed if you have to be accepted back in pitruloka because without going back to pitruloka there is no chance of reaching the feet of narai it will be decided by your forefathers that is why ancestors are very important forefathers are very important your gratitude towards your family lineage your gratitude towards your elders your gratitude towards your parents your grandparents great grandparents must be demonstrated unless you are gratuitous to your own lineage you will not be gratuitous to anybody else if you don't have gratitude towards your own ancestors all your other gratitudes are just farce your gratitude towards employer your gratitude towards your family your gratitude towards your business your gratitude towards your employee your gratitude towards your friends all these things are farce in the first place if your gratitude towards ancestors doesn't remain so when you are going back to pitruloka the ancestors would like to have the positive aksharas the addition of positive aksharas with you they may not like to carry you to carry negative aksharas there so in order to facilitate you to reach pitruloka without the problems of the negativity and dark forces we are building this temple as a prayogi i do the installation part and i want the benefit to be conferred on all of you so that you do not have any problems in reaching the world of your forefathers the world of your forefathers is guided by janardana janardana is the ultimate supreme authority of narayan who takes care of your ancestors the pitruloka part so you have to be fully involved in this because this is once in a lifetime when you come and visit prayoga narsimha he cleanses you of all the negative aksharas and we he makes you more positive every occasion you come and see him the cleaning process takes place as a result of which you become eligible 
to enter the Pritha Loka. Other than that, many, many times people may die out of some accident or they may commit some suicide or they may be killed, such type of deaths which are inauspicious by nature. All such souls need to be purified in order that they will be able to safely reach their original address to which they belong. Prayava Narsama helps you to do that. Okay. When Narsama was waging the war with Hiranyakashipu, Stamba Narsama, Yuddha Narsama, Vada Narsama, Yoga Narsama. Yuddha Narsama, he fights. He fights with Hiranyakashipu. Hiranyakashipu has got a lot of dark energy and dark forces. Those dark forces want to hurt Narsama. At that time, Narsama uses his power. That power is Prayoga. That power he uses to extinguish all the negative energies. He extinguishes all the negativities of the system. He removes all the dark forces. So, when Hiranyakashipu fights, along with him, his entire dark force army also fights. Narsama fights. He is able to eliminate all the dark forces, including Hiranyakashipu at last. So, Prayogam is so valid, so important. Of course, it's not known to many body, many persons. Many people do not know that about the Shastra. And people, when they do not know, they talk nonsense. <laughs> that is human nature. After knowing a subject thoroughly, if one is going to comment, there is some meaning in it. Even without knowing the basics, sometimes, because people are experts in other fields of Shastra, they start commenting on Prayoga Shastra. <laughs> what to do? That shows their ignorance. We need not worry about that. When you are full with faith, Narsama helps you. That's why we say, Mata Narsama Pita Narsama. Rata Narsama Saka Narsama. First two lines itself speaks of your family. Mata Narsama Pita Narsama. Rata Narsama, brother. Saka Narsama, even friend is Narsama. Mata Narsama Pita Narsama. Rata Narsama Saka Narsama. Vidya Narsama Dravinam Narsama. Swami Narsama Sakalam Narsama. Vidya is Narsama. Knowledge is Narsama. Dravidam is Narsimha, materialism is Narsimha. To earn money, to have money, to have a lot of wealth, that is also Narsimha. So, wealth need not be neglected, wealth need not be thrown. Wealth can always be earned and can be used for useful purposes. Vidya Narsimha, Dravidam Narsimha, Swami Narsimha, Sakalam Narsimha, everything is Narsimha. Ito Nrasimma hai, Parato Nrasimmo, Yato Yato Yami Tato Nrasimma, Bahir Nrasimmo, Khradaya Nrasimmo, Nrasimma Madhim Charanam Prabhatya. Ito Nrasimma hai, Parato Nrasimmo. Nrasimma is here. Nrasimma is there. He is in Niham, he is in Param. Ito Nrasamma ha Parato Nrasamma. Yato Yato Yami Tato Nrasamma. You see everywhere is only Nrasamma. Anything you see is Nrasamma. Bahir Nrasamma, Hridaya Nrasamma. Outside is Nrasamma, inside is also Nrasamma. Everywhere, in every aspect, in every atom, Nrasamma is there. Without Nrasamma there is nothing. That's why they started Mata and Rasamma, Pita and Rasamma, forefathers, ancestors. Ancestors are directly connected to Lord Rasamma. 
So, that is why Prayama Narasimha basically is ancestors, your own ancestors. You can see your own ancestor with them. In him you can see, in that Rupam you can see. You will be able to visualize your entire clan. How nice it will be to visualize our entire clan, our forefathers, our ancestors, to which family you belong to. So as a prayogi, my interest is to see that you join with your family and you don't get lost on account of the divisive forces are the dark forces. The dark forces are always divisive by nature. So the aim is to unite people, not to divide people. The aim is not to just unite people, to unite people with their families, to unite you with your family, to unite you with your clan. The idea is that because without going back to your clan, merging with the Lord is going to be impossible. Lord created the clan. You came out of a clan. You came out of your ancestors. You did not come out of something else. You came out of your ancestors, your elders. That is the root in which you have come. That is the root in which you will go. So, the idea of a prayogi is to see that you unite with your family with your forefathers, so that ultimately you reach Swayam Narayan. Janardana helps you. Prayoga Narasimha corrects all the akshara base. All the aksharas will be available, 78% of the aksharas. That's why I call this temple a very unique temple. Don't you want to be a part of something which is very unique? So try to be a part of it. People are building very huge temples. I am not commenting about it. It has got its own beauty. It has got its own significance. According to their Shastra, yes. It has got a value. Those who believe in that Shastra, it has got a value. For them, those who have that faith. Similarly, those who have got faith in Prayoga Shastra will be benefited totally. What all kinds of benefit you will get, I do not know. You will look for very normal benefits, but you will be blessed with certain benefits which you will cannot imagine also. To that extent. To that extent you will be blessed. So try to be a part of this. Try to be a part of this big project. Of course we need a lot of money. Money, material, men, everybody is going to work and we want to complete the project by say December 2025 or earliest January, February 2026. So, Prayoga project is such a beautiful project and it will be ever in your memory that you participated in it. So I am giving you an opportunity to participate. God bless you all. Thank you very much. Bye.